I'm meteorologist Gary Lee Zach with Weather 2020. We're about to have Hurricane Helene form in the Caribbean Sea, moving into the Gulf of Mexico. Still a lot of questions. However, it fits the LRC. It's right on schedule. It's a six and a half month forecast, and it is amazing to watch this come together. Let me take you through it and show you what is going on uh, today on this September 22nd, the first day of fall. That's right, fall began early this morning, and I actually saw it snow today, or I actually saw snow. I might have seen some very small snowflakes, but there were snows that went all the way up to Loveland Pass today. So from snow to the tropics, let's take a look and see what's going on. Uh, Hurricane Hermine will likely form in the next few days. This is the latest American model, the GFS model, showing a major, very strong 933 millibar low blowing up and intensifying uh, moving towards Apalachicola, Florida is where our target has been for six and a half months now for this system. So still questions. It could drift left or right of this position, but just know there's the latest uh, American model, the GFS model. This is our projected forecast from months ago. So it's heading right towards, we predicted, the most likely area, but we have to look to the left and to the right of it. So Tampa, New Orleans, will be paying close attention, I'm sure. So we've had Alberto and Beryl, Chris, Debbie, Ernesto, Francine, and Gordon. So this will be the fifth named hurricane and the eighth named storm of the season. So the forecast is right on target for what Weather 2020 predicted. Here is what the prediction was from the National Hurricane Center just a couple of days ago. And now it's more like our predictions. In fact, there's our prediction from March for this part of the pattern to happen around September 25th. There's their prediction. Now five days, six days out. So uh, something must be happening. It's called the LRC, allowing us to make these incredible predictions. All eight norms, name storms predicted this season. Not only that, at the independent site, the Barcelona Supercomputing Center in Barcelona, Spain, you can see here, well, the 2020 had the lowest prediction for the number of named storms, 14 and 19. It's going to come close to our number, and all these other forecasts were flawed. Why? They don't consider the most important thing in meteorology today, and that's the LRC. There's other factors, there's no doubt about it, but the LRC is the most important one. So 14 to 19 named storms predicted. We've had eight as of Helene forming. Okay, so that is if, if this forms. And this will go to five hurricanes and hopefully not two major hurricanes. But right now we're at seven, four, and one. I added that one already. 61 is the ACE score. That's accumulated cyclone energy. And... 82.9 is now average. So we're way below average after being way above average. It's pretty fascinating. More on that later. But uh, this week, we should add to our number of 61. So Hurricane Helene will likely form in the next three to five days. Again, here is the American model. Uh, the other models, including the European model, taking a very similar track now. And it's fascinating. There's an upper level low forming way out here. You see this little curvature in that precipitation? There's a storm out here that's going to try to pull and wrap this into it. So it's going to be a fascinating next few days, and I'm going to talk that, about that in more detail in our Tuesday report. So again, there's our forecast from six and a half months ago. This is where we're targeting um, Helene to go right now, and it's starting to look like it's beginning to form out there. So this is just a quick update for the tropics. If you live in the northwestern corner of Florida, you know people that live there, Destin, Florida, Pensacola, Panama City, uh, Tallahassee is a little inland, um, Apalachicola, between New Orleans and Tampa, basically. Um, this is the area that we have to watch. But really targeting that northwest Florida in the panhandle of Florida uh, to be hit by this system. Will it be a Category 1, a Category 2, or stronger that's something we're not sure of yet. The American model has a powerful storm, so it'll be category three, four, or five. So uh, hopefully not a five. So we'll be monitoring this for you. We'll have a complete update on Tuesday. Be sure to listen to your local authorities and, 
and uh, hear what's going on with this developing storm. I'm meteorologist Gary Lezek with Weather 2020.